Paul Mason, broadcaster, reporter and writer, has produced two excellent books, Live Working or Die Fighting and Why It's Still Kicking Off Everywhere. These are both highly readable, easy to understand and a genuine weapon in our intellectual arsenal as we struggle to gain control over our lives, destroy and combat capitalism before it destroys us, destroys us and the planet. And most importantly, it describes working class struggle on a linked worldwide basis. His latest book, Post Capitalism, is published in a few days time, but I'm afraid after reading Welcome to a New Way of Living in last week's Guardian, written by him, a summary of his new book, I think after these excerpts, we may be in for the biggest anti-climax since Syriza. He whacks enthusiastically about new forms of ownership, lending, legal contracts, a whole business subculture. Something, yes, that is emerging, but entirely to our detriment. It's another form of middle class domination. Apparently, large parts of the business class have become neo-Luddite. Instead of gene sequencing banks, they are diversifying into coffee shops, nail bars, the sort of stuff that has destroyed working class communities in inner cities. Uh, the death of London E1, for example. It also creates a cognitive capitalism based on information. Silicone roundabout rules, okay, is what it seems to say. He rhapsodizes about the early Marx in the manner that the arrogant, pointy-headed boar Zizek does about going back to Hegel. Really great stuff for us who exist in the submerged, super-exploited, marginalized, one-third of the population. Just what we really needed to hear as we are dispossessed and removed from the inner cities by this new technocratic international class of the rich and upper middle class, these innovators. Of course, it will need the state, the market and collaborative production to achieve this information revolution. Networks of visionaries. Doesn't really sound something like for the likes of us, does it? or what we really want or need, sounds to me like yet another form of middle class domination, a form of tyranny by technocrats, maybe even well-meaning ones, the sort of thing that Bakunin, if you want to talk old style, was warning against nearly 150 years ago. The truth is that the internet, technology, computers have not freed us. They have enslaved us. In the 1970s, Academics and people like Paul Mason were speculating about the end of work as we know it. We were to be liberated by technology. Has this happened? It certainly has not. Our class is working longer at meaningless jobs designed to exhaust and impoverish us and keep us busy just for the sake of it. We have, in relative terms, I think, become far more impoverished both financially and intellectually. As for the never-ending successions of crises that have occurred, it's us that reel from the effects, not this so-called liberated class of technocrats. We are not going forward into post-capitalism. In fact, we are travelling in the opposite direction, neo-capitalism fused with neo-feudalism, from the Islamic State right through to Britain here today. Yes, our task, humanity's task, is not to wait from de for deliverance from this section of the middle class, whose main task seems to be removing us from the inner cities entirely without providing us with any kind of alternative deliberately. And they wonder why we riot, while I wonder why we don't riot so much. Sure, we need post-capitalism, but on our terms, which in this country means getting rid of the monarchy, the House of Lords, the House of Commons, the state, the entire system, and yes, by revolutionary upheaval. How else is it going to come about? What, finally, has technology done for us? 
when for every pair of boots and high heels we put on the streets, facing up to brutal, overwhelming policing, there are dozens of so-called activists, middle-class pseudo-revolutionaries, hunched over computers, ultimately sneering at us, regarding us as primitive and outdated as we struggle for our very existence as a class. I hope the new book, post capitalism doesn't turn out to be the irre irrelevant hodgepodge equivalent to Russell Band's revolution. But from what I've seen so far, alas, I believe it will be. Hopefully I'm wrong, and I want to be wrong. But I'm afraid that the pointy-headed middle classes, as they sneer at us, will be in raptures. What a bunch of self-deluded mugs. These creeps are creating a false storm that can only lead to a golden dawn. I bet most of us won't be able to make head or tail of post-capitalism, judging by the language in it so far. But then again, that is, as I said, rapture for the pointy-headed middle-class pseudo-revolutionaries that infest our scene. And good riddance to them when the revolution does come, because we will have no need for them whatsoever. And so I say...